and welcome back to the microcord from the ground up tutorial from Umbrella Tech. Now, what we're going to go into today is the oscillator section and the mixer, if we have some, and filter, if we have time. Um, but before I get into that, I want to discuss what is a synthesizer exactly. Well, at its core, a synthesizer is made up of uh, four parts. You have your oscillator, which if you can imagine is like a guitar string. It's what vibrates, makes the sound. You have a filter, which filters and emphasizes, uh, well, which cuts and emphasizes certain frequencies, depending on your settings. You have your envelope generator, which in the case of the microcorg is an ADSR, which stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. Now, if you can imagine, attack is building up the volume, Decay is where it goes afterwards, a certain level that it'll fall to. Sustain is where it holds after the decay phase of the envelope generator. And then the release is after you let go of the key, how long it takes to get back to zero. And then there's the LFO, which stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. Now, the most common application of an LFO is for vibrato. Now, vibrato is... Now, you can use the different waveforms, and it's actually a good uh, audio aid for learning what the waveforms might look like. And uh, to give you an idea of how the harmonies are, and the, uh, what the harmonics are. So, you have your saw wave. You have a square wave. You have a sine wave. Then you have sample and hold, which is essentially noise for modulation. Now, this usually has two applications, either a completely randomized groove for improv, or the old sci-fi compu computer calculating sound. So, that is LFO, although it can be used to modulate the volume and it can be used to modulate uh, the filter. So, let's get into the oscillator section. Now, right now we're only using one oscillator. So, your saw wave. You have a square wave. You have a triangle wave. You have a sine wave. Now it can often be very hard to discern between a square or a triangle and a sine, but you'll notice the triangle wave has a bit more frequency to it. So that's a triangle, and this is a sine. So the triangle has a little bit more of a harmonic richness, whereas the sine wave is a little duller. You have vocal type oscillator. And when you have it modulating like that, it's almost sounds like the uh, onomatopoeia of wow. So that's why it's kind of vocal. Now, the, D the DIG, it look, kind of looks like DI9 in there, um, comes from the, it's a series of waveforms that comes from the Korg DW series, which had the 6000 and 8000 respectively. Uh, it's similar to the Korg Poly 800 and Poly 61. It was a digital analog hybrid, which meant that it used 
both digital and analog parts to make up the synthesizer. So the waveforms were digital, however the, the filter was analog. So you got a bizarre, uh, previously unknown and unheard sort of digital waveforms, but you still had that punchiness of an analog filter. Uh, some of that, some in that series also had very complex envelope generators, uh, such as uh, the Poly 800, which had the ADBP SSR, which it stands for Attack, Decay, Breakpoint, Slope, Sustain, Release. Very complex. Um, and some of them have actually very simple, uh, some of the older synthesizers only have an AR, which is Attack and Release. But, so, when Cork designed this, they were cool enough to throw in the 64 waveforms from the DW8000 and 6000 models, respectively. So let's hear some of them. I'll go through them as many as possible without kind of wasting everyone's time here. So, let's hear number one. Let's jump to number six. By the way, I'm doing this with negative two transposition. When you're doing your vocoder, which we'll get to later, this is sort of the money setting right here. This is what you probably want to use for more exotic vocoder effects. Now, there's also noise. Very simple. does exactly what you thought it would. So good for making just annoying noises. Um, and there's AUD which is an audio through. We'll get to that in another section. Now you have two oscillators here. Now oscillator 2, let me uh, take go to the mixer, bring in oscillator 2, knock out oscillator 1 so you can hear. Uh, so oscillator two, you have saw wave, square wave, triangle wave, and that would be it. Not sure why they chose to go limited with this, but, you know, two oscillators is better than nothing, and even if it is a little limited, you can still do a lot with these things. Now let's bring them both in. Let's see how they would sound together. Let's do two saw waves. We'll start messing with some settings here. Um, you can also just mix and match all the waveforms, uh, which will create interesting sonic possibilities. Um, so let's do a digital. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not modulating anything right now with uh, in, ter in terms of volume. This is just literally, the, because of these settings, I've put the oscillator so low that you're just hearing growl range, but it's modulating the other sound. And you can see as I go higher up, the oscillator gets faster, so... So that growl is all but gone. And as I go lower, it gets slower. Let's try some other combinations. to triangle wave and we'll mix it up with uh, let's say a saw wave gives you a lot of room sonically the beauty of that is it'll let you cover both a high end spectrum and a low end spectrum which is what makes synthesizers really amazing is that you can have both a lead and a bass running parallel to it which is awesome. Um, so, now let's say we wanted to, let me get rid of all that. So, we'll go into, where is it? So without going into unison mode, let's say you had it, you have it in the poly, but you want a big unison sound without going down to two voices of polyphony. Well, go over to your two. It sounds much bigger than as opposed to where it's at equal equal tuning. So it's kind of flat here, but when you go into even with one, it gives you a very interesting harmonic motion. Now let's say we wanted to tune things differently. Well, how would we get there? Well, so the semitone knob will allow you to go two octaves, positive or negative. Now, if you're going by the semitone, all the octaves are in 12. So, 24 is two octaves down. 12, negative 12 is one octave. Zero is neutral. 12 is an octave up, 24. Entirely different tuning now, just with one note. So we bring in that harmonic motion from the fine tuning. We already have a huge lead without cutting any of the polyphony. This is still four voices of polyphony. So you can have these monstrous synth sounds without having to cut out the polyphony. I know that's a gripe with some people, is that, well, if I want it to sound big, I have to only go down to two notes of polyphony, which is just not true. Now, this is without even getting into filter, mixer, uh, any of the onboard effects, the patching, any of it. This is literally just working with the oscillators and the most bare bones waveforms. 
there's still a ton you can do inside of here. Inside the oscillator section, there's various controls for a, a ring and sync and... So you have these huge, monstrous sounding things that are just awesome without, I mean, and each of these kind of has their own controls. So, you know, one thing, let's cut that. So let's get back to... Well, here's the control option for the saw wave. So it's like a pulse width modulation. Then you have the square. It's more harmonic motion. You're trying the wave. Sine wave. Again, it's being controlled by the LFO. Now, unfortunately, the digital only has the control to select the waveform. So, it's quite awesome. Uh, even your noise has a fucking... You now are using noise. Birds. I mean, uh, how? Yeah, how cool is that? I mean, that it's an insanely deep bass. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I mean that that this is my amp is barely on in terms of volume, and this is like shaking my apartment. Um, so it, it, all this can just get done with just your oscillators. We haven't even touched this. Uh, you know, we have a, a mixer, you know, so you can balance the individual levels of your oscillators. Then you have uh, noise, another noise source. Yeah, a 
another noise source. That's awesome. I mean, again, we're not even into the real heavy duty stuff of this synthesizer and already it's very capable. Let's go into the filter while we're here. 24 dB per octave. 12 dB per octave. Bandpass filter. High pass filter. So, what are the differences between the filters? Well, 24 gives you a lot more range. But sounds much smoother if you're after a more aggressive. You want the 12 per octave. Uh, the 12 per octave is more what you would find on so the Roland TB303, the uh, synthesizer that kind of defined the acid sound. Whereas your 24 dB is on your Moogs. Now, bandpass filter. Check this out. Unbelievably cool. So now you have a lot of filters to work with. So we're going to set that like this, get it to filter envelope generator, demonstrate that attack, decay, and sustain, and release. So. we're going to need some release time on the MPG to demonstrate. So, let it go and it dies down. Very cool. So even... Just attack and release. You have a very musically in interesting sound. Now on this I wouldn't always recommend polyphony because it's... The 
audio space gets very crowded, so you could, in theory, flip it over to uh, voice, set it over to mono. But. Go over to amp for this one. Now let's take the filter EG settings down. It's essentially a volume pot. Pan pot. Well, this is useless for my purposes right now because I'm running into a mono amplifier, but you can essentially pan it to however you want, right or left or center. Very cool. Now you have the option of distortion. So it, it's kind of like the filter feedback trick on a mini Moog. So you have, you know, pretty good blows it the fuck out of the water. <laughs> so this next one over here, the last thing we'll cover is filter tracking. Um, or, uh, rather, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, keyboard tracking for... is so let's say you, know, you needed it to be loud down here but quiet here well you set it like that at zero it's even throughout the entire keyboard but you set it to negative 63 loud up here quiet up here positive 63 almost inaudible down here very loud up here so we're gonna get into LFOs and patching next time so this has been Rai Rai of Tokyo this is Microcorg from the ground up from Umbrella Tech peace <laughs>